Good morning, crew. It is Thursday. <clears throat> Believe it or not, I actually remember what day it is. Feels like just day nine or whatever it is um, for our quarantine, but I'm not really sure. I'm curious. Um, let me know in the comments. I know in Boston, everyone is pretty much self-quarantining at this point. Um, no one's really working. Everyone's working from home. Um, all the studios are closed. Um, and I think we're a little bit ahead in terms of the US. I know behind versus some other countries, but I'm curious if most of you guys at this point, um, I saw in Amber's post, I think most places are closed um, or we're getting close to it. Um, but let me know if you're still open and where you're located. I'm curious um, if it's coming for you <laughs> or if you, know, you can t keep teaching and you can inspire us all. Um, but I just wanted to talk today about some things that I'm doing um, while we're not able to teach um, that keep us sharp, our instructor skills sharp. Hey, Kim. Kim, let me know what's going on by you. Um, I think you said everything's open as of the last time we did a live, but I can't remember if things closed up on you. Um, so I wanted to talk about a few things that I'm doing <clears throat> while I'm you know, stuck at home. Um, how can I still work on, you know, my instructor skills and keep things sharp? Um, and also just how can I not go crazy? Um, so a few things. Um, and as you guys hop on, let me know, um, you know, what your, what your situation is like right now. Um, but I'm working on playlists, lots of playlists, listening to music, mostly because the music is just soothing me right now. It always does. Um, so that's, you are closed now. Okay. Bummer. Um, I have to say it, I'm not surprised, but sorry to hear that. Um, <clears throat> so working on playlists, um, a lot of it is just gathering music. Um, I'm in a little bit of a weird place where I'm not quite ready to build classes or use my templates yet because I just, when you don't know what's next, it's a little hard to plan for those exciting moments. So a little bit of a down curve right now. So I'm strictly just listening to music and pulling out songs that I want to use. Um, songs that inspire me, songs for a welcome back playlist, which I am working on, um, and songs that just make me feel good right now. Um, so that's been big. Music has been big. Um, something else you guys can do, which I've been doing, is um, I actually have a bike at home. I think a lot of you do as well. Hey, Erin. Um, so I've been, you know, getting on the bike and practicing some new drills and, and trying out, um, obviously just doing a workout for myself. Um, that's been soothing, <clears throat> uh, especially I, I turn the lights off and make it like it is in the studio and it's like powerful. It's like my sanctuary. So, um, doing things like that helps obviously the exercise, the movement, the endorphins, but also just remembering what it feels like to be up on the stage teaching, um, gives us a little bit of energy back. Um, so again, as you guys hop on, let me know how things are by you and what you're um, currently doing to keep yourself sane while you're stuck at home. Um, I'm talking strictly about things related to being an instructor, but feel free to share anything. Um, I can hop into that as well. But um, a couple other things, you can record yourself teaching. I always suggest that, um, but now you got plenty of time to do it. So maybe if you have a bike at home, set up a little stand, record yourself, watch it, see how you can improve. Um, maybe even send those videos to your clients. I know a lot of people are, a lot of studios are doing virtual classes. Um, the majority of my clients do not have bikes at home, so we're not doing that right now. But who's to say if this lasts for a long period of time, that might change. So um, I'm curious, again, if anyone's doing that, I'd love to hear about it. Hey, Matt, <clears throat> just talking about things we can do um, while we're stuck at home. So I talked about working on playlists. Um, I talked about, um, you know, just honestly listening to music, um, trying out some new drills and workouts on your own. If you have a bike at home, filming it, watching it, trying to work on some of the things that you do, some of the cues that you have, and then maybe even sending those videos to clients. So some other things, guys, just for <clears throat> self-care, mental health <clears throat> that you can work on. Aside from being an instructor while you're at home, I'd love to talk about that as well. Um, I've been focused on sleep, but I'm still setting an alarm to get up in the morning. Um, I worry that if I let myself just sleep, I can get into some negative spiral waking up at 10 a.m. and you know, that's no good. So I'm still getting up at the same time. I'm still going to bed <laughs> early. I'm an early bird. Um, I'm still finding things to work on. A lot of it is creative, so a lot of my work 
obviously is studio related. I'm not working on that right now. So I started a campaign for my clients. I shared it with you guys. We're doing a daily health tip. Um, have one coming out later this morning. It takes a lot of time and effort. Um, it's really just for my clients and my riders and anyone who wants to follow our Instagram to get a little inspiration on how to stay healthy right now mentally and physically. Um, so that's something I'm working on. It's strictly, I mean, it's free. It takes a lot of my time. It's strictly just to keep everyone focused on the good. Um, some other things I'm doing, um, spending a lot of time with my husband. Everyone keeps talking about in uh, however many months um, there's going to be a lot of divorces and a, or a lot of babies, um, which I find very interesting. Um, we're actually really enjoying it. You know, we're both keeping busy with work and then we come together at night and we play board games. We've been really into Yahtzee lately, which has been fun. Um, watching a movie every night, something that's um, not related to a contagion or a disease, preferably. Um, things like that. Um, so again, tell me, what are you guys doing? Um, Kim, I am still getting up early and getting on my bike, trying to keep my routine. I love that. Awesome, Kim. Awesome. Um, our club is filming workouts since we do more than cycle. That is keeping us busy. That's awesome. I wish <clears throat> I've always wanted to uh, get a bigger space and do some weight workouts. So maybe this is finally my inspiration to do that because uh, I would love to be sending those. Um, it is interesting. I did a poll with my riders and most of them said they wouldn't do a weight workout they just want to be on the bike so I do find that my spin clientele are very specific to what they want um, there's definitely people who do both but the majority are strictly spin so I thought that was interesting but I did try so maybe I'll do it anyways and see what happens Matt I got a job submitting profiles to instructor good for you Matt that's great that's great I don't know too much about them I do have I checked out the app once but um, that's great. Good for you, Matt. That'll keep you busy. That's for sure. Um, what else, guys? Let me know. Um, what else am I doing? Um, taking this little darling for lots of walks while I still can. Um, we're not stuck completely shelter in place yet, so I'm trying to get outside. Unfortunately, it is pouring rain today, so maybe not today, but, um, you know, just keeping busy, keeping a schedule, keeping a routine, and I really suggest that if you guys need a little daily inspiration, you follow um, C-Town Cycle and our, check out our daily tips. I'm gonna post every morning around 9 a.m. with just something to work on for the day, something to keep you busy. Hey, Teresa. So that's really all I got. If you guys go back and listen to this video, at the beginning, I talked about some instructor-related things you can do at home, good morning, um, and some other things that I'm doing at home not instructor related, um, trying to get creative with things. Oh, and before I forget, for any studio owners on here, I'm going to do a round table um, for you guys because I know a lot of us are struggling right now. Um, and if you're not a studio owner and you just want to listen in, I'm totally cool with that. It's free. It's going to be tomorrow, 11 a.m. Eastern. I posted the Zoom join details um, in the group and I'll post them again tomorrow morning. And I'll probably post them again tonight just to remind everyone. But if you're interested in that, I'd love to have you guys there. Uh, really just want everyone who's a business owner right now and struggling with lots of expenses and no income um, to have each other's support. And I'll tell you guys what I've learned from my government and from my local studios and from what I'm doing. So hopefully we can all learn from each other and have a little less stress on our shoulders. Okay, can you do a round table for us instructors? That's kind of what I see these um, Herner Happy Hours as, Matt. Um, this one is strictly for studio owners because I try not to bring that into the group too much because I know most of these people are instructors. Um, if there's anything specific you wanna talk about though for Herner Happy Hour, I'm always happy to do that. Just give me some topics or some questions and we'll, I can actually hop on here um, more often than just Thursday too. So if you have any urgent questions or you're really struggling with something, I'm happy to help. Um, just post it in the comments. All right, ladies and gents, stay strong. I'm right there with you, and I will be in here checking in on you soon. Take care.